Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to my channel learn to teach as you know that we have started section number B chapter number 7 that is algorithm design and problem solving so this is our first topic that is program development life cycle in this video we are going to see the different phases of program development yes PDLC is also called the different phases of program development here in your book you are having five stages we can see over here in this picture that the very first stage is the analysis stage then you have a design stage then we have coding the fourth stage is called testing and the fifth one is maintenance so these are the five stages let's talk about each of these stages in detail okay starting with the very first stage that is analysis let's talk about what is an analysis stage okay once we have a pro problem to solve first of all what is needed you have to clearly define your problem clearly define it yes and then you will be going towards the requirement specification this is very very important you do requirement specification in LS analysis stage requirement specification means that you should be clearly knowing that what is actually needed what needs to be the solution what you actually require or the user actually needs so the next thing is you are going to use certain tools in analysis stage for requirement specification or clearly defining your problem these tools are decomposition tools we have a decomposition tool and we have also abstraction tool let's talk about each of these tools in detail okay if I talk about the decomposition tool, the word decomposition means breaking down. So here we have to break down a complex problem, problem into smaller parts. Why we do that? It is very easier to propose a solution when you define a problem clearly into its smaller units or smaller parts so this is decomposition tool that if you have a complex a big problem so in order to understand it you have to break it down into smaller parts now let's talk about the second tool that is abstraction tool abstraction means to hide what to hide hide the unnecessary information information or only keeping the required keep the necessary information yes it is to keep all that information that is required for your solution or to solve a problem and hide all the unnecessary data or information that you don't need it what can be the example of it if I talk about Google search, if you search something on Google, we know that an internet is an information hub. You have lots and lots of information on internet. But when, when you search a specific thing on Google, it will only give you the relevant result. Like if you search for address of your school or a website of your school, it is not going to show you a restaurant website or a hotel website it is going to show you the relevant result for it so this is how the abstraction tool works that give you the desired information and hide all the unnecessary data so these are the two tools that we use to clearly define or uh, define the requirement specification of your problem this is analysis stage the first stage let's talk about the second stage here we have the second stage that is the design stage let's talk about what is a design stage 
and what is supposed to be done in this particular stage. Okay. The main question here is how to develop a program. Yes, once you have the requirement specification from analysis stage, you will work on how to develop a program. In this particular stage, you will be working on formal documentations. And in formal documentations, what you will be actually designing, you have to design or use uh, any kind of structure charts. You can design flow charts to solve a problem or to develop a program, or you can also write pseudo code that is very, very useful if you are making sorry for this if you are making a, a program then pseudo code in the design stage will be very helpful to you so this is the design stage where you are going to decide how to develop a program and you will make formal documentations okay so at the end of this particular stage what you will be clear about you will be clear about what is to be done what is to be done this is very important you will know all the tasks that needs to be developed you will be knowing that what is the performance or what each of these tasks tasks will be performing and how these tasks will work when they will be gathered or they will be combined. So how they are going to work. So this is the design stage where you are formally going to uh, thought about how to develop a program. Okay, next we have the third one. The third one is the coding stage. Once you will be developing the algorithms and flowcharts for your program. Now let's talk about the coding stage. Okay, so here you will be using any of your programming language. It can be C sharp. It can be Python. It can be Java or any suitable language. This is to develop your program. your program yes this is what a coding stage is all about the program is developed keep in mind that it is developed in form of modules you can have various modules in your program module one module two modules are basically the sub programs or the different parts of the programs module three Module 4, this, these are the tasks, subtask that collectively makes up your program. So each of these modules is going to be tested. When you are going to test each of these modules, it is tested separately. It will be tested separately as many modules as you have when you are going to test each of these modules separately and ensure that each of these modules are working as uh, expected we call this individual testing as we call it these testing as iterative testing this is what we call iterative testing or the modular testing when we are testing each of these modules to ensure that these modules are working as it is, as uh, we have supposed or as we have um, documented, right? This is all about the coding stage. Now let's move towards the fourth stage. The fourth stage is the testing stage. Coding. Oh not the coding, the testing stage. 
let's talk about what we are supposed to be doing in the testing stage now here all the modules are going to be combined and the whole program will be tested by using different sets of test data yes you are going to use different set of test data on your developed program in order to make sure that your program is giving you the desired outcome and there is no bugs no errors in it so basically in the testing stage you are going to find out any bugs or any errors in the program if there are some errors you will be correcting the errors and you will be amending your program so at the end of your testing stage now your program is ready to use is ready to use by the end user use by the end user okay now the final stage is the maintenance stage let's talk about the maintenance stage what we are supposed to do in this particular stage of program development actually documentation is vital in this stage so you have to make sure that all the document is gathered related to your program all the documentation is gathered because documentation is vital here in maintenance maintenance is when your program is actually program is actively used by the user by the user and if any of the real problems comes or any of the updation or enhancement is required so what you will do you will be going towards the maintenance of a program right so maintenance is uh, essential or you can say maintenance becomes very important when you are going to find any correction or any error is encountered while the use of your program so you need to correct it or if any enhancement or updation is required or we can say any addition of specification is required so in these two conditions the maintenance of a program becomes essential so in maintenance you are supposed to use all the documentation of your program that's why before maintenance the documentation needs to be gathered this is all the five stages of pdlc that is program development life cycle thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we are going to start the next topic that is computer systems and the subsystems stay tuned stay connected and please do not forget to subscribe bye bye